Today we have a nice number theory problem from the 2018 Putnam exam that requires us to find all ordered pairs A and B, both natural numbers, such that 1 by A plus 1 by B equals 3 by 2018. So first things first, we're going to call our integral here I, so we have something to refer to. But wait, there is no integral today to refer to. So we'll just have to make do with the left-hand side of our equation. So let's write this as a plus b divided by a times b equal to 3 by 2018. And move some stuff around and you get 2018a plus 2018b equal to 3ab. So let's just collect everything on the left-hand side. So this implies that 3ab minus 2018a minus 2018b equals 0. Now the thing about these number theory problems from the Putnam exam or other competitive math exams, they often require some kind of factorization. And... With our equation, that factorization does not seem so clear. But we can try something because we have 3 times a, b here, a and b both being integers. So let's multiply the entire equation by 3. So this implies that 9 times a, b minus 3 times 2018 a minus 3 times 2018 b equals 0. And I can add something to the equation that'll give us something that we can factorize. Specifically, I'm talking about the square of 2018. So let's just add that, both sides of the equation. And now we can actually perform some factorization. So from the first two terms here, I can factor out a 3 and an a. So I'm left with 3b minus 2018. And from the other two terms, I can factor out a 20. 18. So negative 2018 that is. So if I factor that out, then I get 3b minus 2018. And this all equals the square of 2018 on the right hand side. So factoring out this 3b minus 2018 term, I now have a nice factorized form on the left hand side that equals the square of 2018. Okay, that's pretty cool, but now what? Let's take a moment to analyze the structure of the equation to see what information we can decipher from it. So on the left-hand side, you have this product of factors 3b minus 2018 and 3a minus 2018. And 3a and 3b are both just integer multiples of 3, right? Because a and b are positive integers. So you have integer multiples of 3, and the problem is symmetric with respect to a and b. So it seems sensible to analyze the structure of this equation in mod 3. So here's the deal. Because 3a and 3b are both just integer multiples of 3, it doesn't matter what positive integer value of a or b I plug into these factors. You plug in any positive integer value for a, for example, in 3a minus 2018, like a equals 1000, you'll get the same remainder in each case. So let's see what the remainder works out to when we have a equal to 1000. So we have 3000 minus 2018, and that here equals 82, which is congruent to 1 mod 3. So that means this 3a minus 2018 term here is just 1 mod 3, same goes for this 3b minus 2018 term. So the right-hand side is also congruent to 1 mod 3. And let's just factorize the right-hand side as well, because we'll need it later. So 2018 squared can be written as 2 squared times 1009 squared. And 2 squared is 4, which is 1 mod 3. And 1009 is just 999 plus 10, or... 1008 plus 1. So yeah, that is also 1 mod 3. Both these factors here, 2 squared and 1009 squared, are both 1 mod 3. Okay, so that is useful as well. Why is that useful? Because now look at what your equation is telling you. Your equation is telling you 
that this number here, 2018 squared, which equals 2 squared times 1009 squared, equals the product of two numbers here, the product of two numbers here that are both 1 mod 3. So that means we need to look for factor pairs x and y of 2 squared times 1009 squared such that both x and y are congruent to 1 mod 3. Okay, now let's take a look at these possible factor pairs. So one obvious factor pair is 1 and 2 squared times 1009 squared, where both are congruent to 1 mod 3. So yeah, this is a possible factor pair. Another factor pair could be 2 times 2 times 1009 squared, but 2 is not congruent to 1 mod 3, so we'll cross that out. Another case could be 2 squared times 1009 squared, and again, both these numbers are congruent to 1 mod 3. And finally, we could also have 2 squared times 1009 times 1009. Again, all numbers here are congruent to 1 mod 3, so this is a possible factor pair. So now that we have all possible factor pairs, there are three of them, we can put them to use in figuring out our, uh, figuring out the possible values of A and B. So let's try the first combination here. So let's say the 3a minus 2018 equals 1, and that means 3b minus 2018 equals 2 squared times 1009 squared. So this first equation implies that a equals 2019 by 3, which is 673. And the second equation here implies that b equals, let's see, um, it's 2018 squared plus 2018, right? So factor out of 2018, you get 2018 plus 1, so that's 2019 divided by 3. This is 673, and I'm not doing the multiplication. Okay, so this is one possible pair, and the other pair would be just flip the other pair. You can get the other pair by just flipping the values of a and b. So let's make use of the other factors. So uh, this is 2 squared times 1009 squared. So this implies that 3a minus 2018 equals 2 squared and 3b minus 2018 equals 1009 squared. So this implies that a equals, okay, so this is 2022 divided by 3, which should be 674, I guess. Uh, yep, that's all right. And the other equation implies that B equals, let's see, 1009, factor that out, and you still have 1009 plus twice of 1009. So you have three, th three times 1009, and the threes cancel out, so you're left with 1009 squared. Okay, and finally, you have two squared, you have 3A minus 2018, being 2 squared times 1009 and 3b minus 2018 being 1009. So this equation here implies that a equals, th that should be 4 times um, 4 plus 1, the, no, 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 3 times, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's definitely 3 times 2018 squared divided by 3, so cancel that out, you get 2018 squared, and the final equation, the final result implies that 2018 is 2 times 1009, so this means that b equals 1009. So there you go. All ordered pairs, a and b, that satisfy the given equation, and that was pretty cool, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you, see you next time.